What's up, model building fans? Hey, it's BG, and we're going to be talking about all of this here in just a second, right after this. We want to give our friend over at Two Tall's Model Garage uh, a, a huge shout out because he sent us one of his newer shop cards, totally unsolicited. But Taylor, thank you very much for the card, sir. I really like how you have the mirror reflection here of kind of like the same, um, the same class car but one is the El Camino version and one is the two-door sedan so that's really awesome buddy thank you so much for that and uh yes please go check out his channel there will be a link down in the description below to take you to his channel so he does awesome work he does in and he does a lot of uh, drag oriented stuff so that's even cooler so thanks again buddy um next up is this little thing I found while going through some stuff of my father-in-law's and this was pretty funny it says do it tomorrow. You made enough mistakes today. <laughs> I think I might have to uh, turn this into a decal somehow and just like put that right down there on the uh, on the bench. But uh, yeah, um, thought this was really cool. This is, I don't know, some sort of weird little postcard thing you could get back in the day. But I thought that was, that was very appropriate for the bench these days. So we'll set that right over there. All right, let's get on with the stuff. First of all, we want to say thank you so much to Tiffany, also known as... Dirt Road Cinderella. She gifted us this awesome, awesome tool here. This is, um, Mrs. BG saw this and decided that she had to open it up and find out what it was. And kind of like, <laughs> never open something on camera, I tell you what. Yeah, we're burning minutes, okay. There we go, no fingernails, no fingernails. There we go, look at this. Look at this container, right? This is cool. I don't even care what that says on it, it just looks neat. Open it up. Inside we have, look at this. This is pretty. Ooh, pretty. So uh, we're going to slide in here a little bit. There we go. Ooh, that's something good. That's a good boy. There we go. This bugger looks sharp too. So this is for doing some fine lining for panel lining and stuff. So if you want to do pin washes or whatever, um, this is really going to help out with dipping it in like... Basically, what you're going to be doing is using this as the inkwell, and then you just use this as your applicator instead of using the teeny little brush that comes with that. That's really inaccurate when you get into uh, really tight spaces. But this goes through capillary action, lets it all flow down into the uh, into the part areas exactly where you want it with very little overflow. And I'm I'm so jazzed. I want to just want to say thank you so much to uh, to Dirt Road Cinderella for gifting us this. Um, yeah, it, you didn't have to, but we really, really appreciate that. And uh, we got got a shop card and a sticker going out to you here. And uh, as, a, as a nice little thank you. Uh, so thanks again for this. Really, really appreciate that. I'm hoping that this can help up our, um, our panel lining game, I guess is the best way to say that. All right. So we had the Model Car Mafia meeting here not too long ago, and our good friend Dan Doan said that he's going to bring us this kit here. Look at this. This completes the triumvirate of 69 Camaro kits from this particular body version, the 124 scale ones. So there's this guy, the Ram Charger, and then the original Street Machine version. Uh, that's the white one on the box art with the multicolor stripes. And we went through this with Dan. He was showing us what was different, what was added to this one. Uh, that, it's really cool that there's three different, three different versions of the same kit with a lot of different parts to each one. So that's really cool. And hey, you know, when we start doing like um, a uh, 60th anniversary of the Camaro, that's probably coming up not too, not too long from now, I am set because now I have all three of the Camaro kits. Uh, also, our good friend uh, Mike Chalda, he uh, he was able to get one of these seventy one Dodger Demon Dodger Dodger <laughs> seventy one Dodge Demon kits. Uh, yeah, my cost is only twenty seven bucks. That's pretty darn awesome for one of these brand new releases. So um, he hooked us up very very nicely, and I am excited 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 to to, to have that in the stash. Uh, and then um, recently, my good friend Bernie was actually selling some stock off that he had some uh, some stuff out of his stash. Check out this one here. I, sc I scored this guy. Rattle can shenanigans is probably spitting out his soda right now. But uh, yeah, BRE Dotson 510. It turns out this actually has a little bit of a different car body in it than the other 510 uh, kit that we have. Plus, of course, the decals and a, and a few other little racing doodads to make this guy a little bit more special. But to get this guy for the whopping price of $12. Yes, I could not, I, I, I almost spit out my soda when I saw that. So I was like, Bernie, and he's like, oh, you want it? You take it. Okay, great. 
And then we also grabbed this dude, the Myers Manx. Always love these. I remember the TV show when I was a kid. Um, something in Croft or whoever it was. Rankin and Croft, something like that. Uh, um, they they did this TV show called Wonderbug that had a, a, a doom buggy that went from a schlep. I think it was actually called Schlep, as a matter of fact. A Schleppy Volkswagen um, dune buggy into a super-powered supercar that actually talked and uh, flew. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what they were doing there, but I think it's legal nowadays. But, uh, yeah, I won't, that, that's always stuck in my memory. I've always loved those cars, so there we go. Another one that's pretty awesome here is this dude. This is... Tony Foddy's LAPD Camaro, a kit that I've been kind of excited about. I do have another one in the stash that our, that our friend uh, Casa Grand Mike had uh, gifted us. It was missing um, a couple of parts. That I, I swear Matt gave us the parts for it, but um, I can't find them. I don't know what the heck I did with them, so I don't know what's going on there. But, yeah, um, Bernie had this kit there for the the lovely, lovely price of just $18. Seems like it might still be sealed originally. Uh, it's just a little bit torn. I don't mind. Um, but Bernie was like, rather have the space than the, uh, than the than the hundreds of dollars people want for that thing. And then this is really special because literally searching coast to coast uh, from California to, to, to Wayne, New Jersey, and then all the way down into Georgia, <laughs> Cartersville, Georgia. I've uh, been looking for a couple of uh, these uh, specific Tamiya Cooper kits. So... Um, I love the rally car version. I tried to build that for the, uh, actually I didn't try to build it. I built it for the rust bucket group build that Mars was hosting. And the reason why that became one of the rust bucket builds was because it was missing all the stuff that makes this the special race car. So we just went ahead and did a rusty hull out in the desert. So we found this guy for a really, really good price. And then this guy, which I, I love the racy version of it with the, uh, with the mini light wheels and stuff. Awesome. Love it, love it, love it. Can't wait to get started on one of these things. I, I want to do a nice, slow, special build for both of these guys. Just do my best, you know. So we got those guys there. Um, at the uh, at, We were at Andy's Hobby headquarters recently, hanging out with my friend Chris. Saw this. Andy had this on sale. Uh, apparently he has a couple tables in the back room area there that will have uh, stuff from other collections that he gets. And he just prices them and sets them out. So... Uh, took a look, a quick look inside. Looks like everything might be there. I don't know. I have to go through it more, um, more focused and uh, see if everything's in there. But so far, I really like what we're seeing. And I was showing this to my uh, to my buddies, my sprue dudes over. Uh, we have like a text group, uh, Mad Genius and um, Ben Lee from Ben Builds. So I was showing them this, and Ben was like, "This is really cool. You need to do a diorama with that." And I'm like, "You know, I'm not really comfortable with the foliage thing." And he was like, well, you live in the desert. How about you do a desert scene? I'm like, oh, oh, the wheels just started turning. So there we go. We'll blame Ben for that one. And then uh, let's see here. Uh, just just recently, as of yesterday, got this in the mail from the uh, from that river, the Amazon. It's going to tilt up a little bit. There we go. Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, so I ordered the Black Cat Catalina, which is their Night Bomber version. I saw it on Amazon. It was uh, very, very affordable. I went ahead and ordered it. This showed up. This is not what I ordered. I actually wrote the seller, you know, strongly worded email. And I was like, hey, hey, buddy. You know, no, I, I wasn't like that. I was like, excuse me, sir or madam. And uh, they they kindly wrote back and they're like, we're very sorry for the, for the inconvenience. Uh, we wanted to contact you and let you know that we didn't have those, but we weren't able to. Um, and let you know that we were sending you this in its stead. So I looked this up online. I'm like, oh, okay. This is actually pretty nice, so thank you. <laughs> so um, I, I guess I, the best way to say it, I guess, is we broke even on that one. But this, this, look at this. Oh, my gosh. Liberty Walk. Liberty Walk Lamborghini. Oh, my gosh. I am, like, really, yes. Words are hard now. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so freaking cool. Um, we were We were actually set up to get this by uh by our friend matthew inman from um model car videos we were talking about these particular kits on the podcast we, we were we were on with him and then next thing i know this shows up in the mail and i'm like dude really he goes hey i wanted the shelf the shelf space more than i want the kit so i'm like that is awesome we went poking around this is a beautiful car in its own right but we went poking around for decal ideas you know just to see what was out there and actually stumbled across 
a site called Zoom On. They do everything out of Hong Kong. Uh, a lot of aftermarket type of stuff for uh, for JDM cars and such. But check this out. They have a Gulf Oil livery for this particular uh, car. And, oh, man, I'm so excited. So I went ahead and ordered the decal set. That just came yesterday, as a matter of fact. I've had this for a little while, but I got this just yesterday. And I'm just like, man. And then I did some closer reading and I realized, oh, this is supposed to be for version 1. And apparently this is supposed to be version 2. Uh, I don't know what the difference is going to be, if if any. Maybe a different shaped wing. I don't know. But uh, I can make it work. <laughs> I could try really hard to make it work. Even if I have to just match this orange color in a couple of areas, I can make it work. So give a Matthew a nice shout out. A big thank you for that, sir. You are probably one of the kindest guys out there, I swear. So, okay, that's going to wrap it up for the stash ads. We've been collecting them for the last month and a half or so. Just had lots of other stuff going on. You know the story. I've been talking about it a lot. So, anyway, y'all take it easy. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for all the kind comments and the subscriptions. Appreciate that greatly. Uh, down below is going to be that link for our buddy uh, Taylor Braun. And uh, we'll talk to y'all in the next one. Bye now. I need to get more of this. Most of it's on the outside of the bottle. Hmm. <laughs>